Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tri-Man here. Uh, Mogolevka. Day 6. As you can see, uh, by it being day 6 in my debug monitor, um, I have been busy off-camera, if you will. Uh, I do apologize that. Yes, yes, I've been straying on you, but uh, what about my needs? <laughs> I needed some time. I figured I just wanted to play off-camera for a while. But my true intent was... Uh, to get uh, to regain some some inventory that I lost with the, the last patch there's been a couple patches so when I respawned in the game there was some stuff that I lost so I wanted to go out and try and regain that and then pick up where we left off in the last video but uh, as you can see if we look at my inventory um, I have been busy I've been uh, picking up some good stuff I found some binoculars I found an M4A1 with some rounds. Uh, I went, uh, where did I go, northeast of here, mostly east, and found a helicopter helicopter crash site, which is where I found the M4A1 and the 30 round um, Stanig rounds. Uh, picked up some more food along the way, uh, found a couple water bottles, um, as I said, binoculars, compass, uh, what else did I find? A hunting knife. I don't believe I had that before. And then if we look inside the Alex pack, um, got some more food. And what else here? That's pretty much it. So just some extra, little bit of extra inventory that I, I have now that I didn't have in the last video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this and uh, see if we can uh, pick up where we left off. I think in the last video, I want, what I wanted to do was sweep wide, come around on the inside of that uh, west side of that barn. Oh, you just see all the zombies spawn in. And then uh, see what we can make happen. I did scour this area once already off camera, so this is where I picked up a lot of this stuff. And as you can see right now, there's not too many people in this server. Um, there's three people, so should be relatively safe hopefully they're not in the same town so the only really thing I have to worry about is zombies oh also camo I wanted to show you camo and I have camo skin now I figured out how to do a config file and uh, let's show you my character see he's got the camo on his skin and his arms and I picked up some uh, camouflage clothing so I'm pretty stoked about it. He's looking pretty buff. So what I do like about this M1911 um, is the fact that it's a one-shot kill whether you hit the body and of course the head. So that is the nice thing about it. The M4A1, that is two body shot kill and of course a one shot to the head kill. Always makes me wonder, since there's really no zombies around here, I wonder if there's much in this house here. But I saw somebody moving there, but I think that's a piece of furniture. Yep. Sounds like something's in the building. Yeah, I think there's a Z in there. behind. Yeah, it must be behind the building. So I think we'll hit that and then we'll swing into the barn from there. See the barn right there. So, you know, some posts I read and some other uh, Let's Play videos I've watched, a lot of people complain about the Arma 2 engine. 
And yeah, you could pick it apart if you wanted to, but it's, it's there's a lot of attention to detail. There's a lot of things you can do with this this game. I mean, if you, I think you you take a granted you take for granted after a while playing the game. You know, you got bugs, you got birds in the sky, you've got all these ambient noises that just make you. you know, look at all the the butterflies, uh, the leaves blowing in the air, um, the grass moving, all the trees. I mean, there's there's a lot going on in this engine and yeah people can complain and pick it apart all the time but they're accomplishing a lot with this engine and how old is this engine three four years old and um, they're continuously patching it it's yes it's beta but they're continuously I think there's a patch that comes out you know you're looking at two or three weeks two or three patches a week that come out of this engine so I, I like the fact that Bohemian Interactive continually supports this and uh, I can't say much for a lot of other um, developers slash publishers not supporting their their uh, their games after a period of time but you look at the age of this game and they're still supporting it so there, there's a lot to be said um, yes is it buggy yes it's quirky but they're continuously um, fixing it patching it so I, I think there's a lot to be said about that I know there's some uh, other companies, developers, publishers that they they never patched, they never fixed it. Once they one of the last major patches came out, they forgot about it, and you never saw anything about it again. They just left it buggy. So I'm not going to mention any publishers or uh, developers. I'm sure a lot of the regular gamers can figure that one out. That's where I want to go. Kind of lost track where I was going. So yeah, drop me comments. Let me know what you think. Oh, and you see the castle? That's, uh, what castle was that again? I believe that is Zub, Z-U-B-E. And we are going there. That's our next, um, that's next on the itinerary. Yep, see the dragonfly and the uh, binoculars? This is stuff I'm talking about. There's a lot going on with this engine. Hit the wrong key combination there. Sorry about that. And I hear people complaining about um, DayZ also. People forget this is, is, is an alpha. It's still an alpha. Hasn't even got to beta yet. So look at all the enjoyment we are getting out of it, and it's only an alpha. So it's... Uh, big question is where this is going to be soon. How far are they going to take it? Are they going to release it as a standalone game? Are you going to be able to play single player? Are they going to have the add-on in Arma 3? I guess if the popularity continues, it most likely will. But who knows? Time will tell. I really hope everybody's enjoying my videos more. Um, if you could... Uh, uh, hit some more ratings and more comments. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, I've heard other um, in other people's channels they say, you know, comments and ratings inspire them to do more, and it's true. When I get uh, comments, positive comments or even negative, it helps me improve and it, it really inspires me to do more. So there is not much in here. There's a whole lot of Zeds out there, though. So yeah, please comments and ratings are are definitely welcome. I don't know if he's coming in here or not, but we'll back up. If he comes in here, I'm going to have a whole train coming in here. interesting I was playing uh, Battlefield 3 the other day and I kept hitting the alt key to look over my shoulders and I've gotten so used to that um, 
you know, hitting alt, then looking over my shoulder like this. I couldn't do it in BF3. I, I've really come accustomed to using that uh, that key combination. Having that ability to do that is pretty awesome. Jeez. I think I'll go this way. Another thing I've learned is if you do aggro zombies, either run away, not into a bunch of other zombies where you get a train going, but run away to where you can get a safe distance so you can get a chance to recover and shoot them. Or run into a building, not, not too close to walls where they can swat at you through the walls, and then shoot them from there. You can never be too safe, but I found that's been, been working for me. So far, anyway. zombies everywhere. I think he's coming this way maybe. I want to get to that brick building. We'll hit that brick building and then the dark building as we head east. And then we'll go from there. Then we'll head to um, Zub or Zub, however you want to pronounce that castle area. I think there was a Z in that building right there. That's where the sound was coming from anyway. Is there anything in there? Nope. Makes me wonder if there's going to be anything in here. Gosh, the other day when I was playing off camera, I just used that term. It's easier when I wasn't recording. So when I was doing off camera, and I was coming across bonuses left and right. Of course, I'm on camera now and got the recording going and there's nothing. Nothing. Ooh, what's this? Camel clothing, and I already have it. That's pretty cool. That's what I picked up here. Actually, maybe I wonder if it was this server, but I did. That's where I picked that uh, the camel clothing that I have on now. That's where I picked it up. Okay, so we're gonna go out this way, and we're gonna head east to the castle. tower right there. But I want to check out the field. There is a field. Um, is that one enterable too? I'm trying to get myself oriented here. Where's the church? Now I could use that. Yeah, I thought the church was up this way. Oh, and here's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, let's 
let's see, I'm going to put this in my inventory. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Okay, since it's the same caliber, it's 45 caliber between the M1911 M1911 and the revolver. If you have the M1911, such as I do, and you pick up the quick load, 45 caliber, you know, the six shooter quick load, you can right click on it and say combine for M1911 and it'll convert it over into the magazine. So now I have a full clip of an M1911. Pretty cool, huh? And then the, just the opposite. If you had the magazine, you picked up a magazine and then you had the revolver, you could right click on the magazine and it would convert it into the six shot quick loader. So, little trick there. Check this doghouse. Sometimes there's stuff in doghouses. I haven't seen too much lately in doghouses, though. There's the church. That's what I was looking for. So I just came from that building. I don't need water. because both canteens I picked up were full. Okay, we'll hit this building and then that house and then we'll head towards the castle, which is east of here. Oh, and if you ever run away from zombies and you want to run up the staircase, don't run up straight going forward, run up backwards because I started to run up there and I went to turn around and I couldn't and zombies were starting to come up behind me so I had to do this and then back up. So that's the safest way to do that. You get yourself in a pickle. Oh, I meant to say when I said uh, Zub or Zub, the castle, that's west of us, not east. So I sit corrected. There's another thermos. Yeah, we'll just check it out. Go into gear and see what's here. There we go. It's two round pellets. Blue camelites, red camelites, water bottle, and that's it. I think there was a Zed in that building, but I really don't feel like dealing with that right now. There's uh I got plenty of inventory, but I will go in this <coughs> enterable house here. Last time I came in here, shots fired. Again, I apologize having to end that video um, in such an intense moment, but I kept getting phone calls on my office line and my cell phone and uh, duty calls, so I had to get some things done and field some calls, so. Okay, it's usually around, I think it's this field out beyond that tree line right there where my crosshair is, that uh, that's a helicopter crash site, so we're going to try and see if we can find that. But 
this hopper right here. Pretty visible right now. At least we got rain. over to that other side of that tree line. I'm just trying to avoid this uh, hopper. Maybe he'll route back. So really the only thing I need now is a map and some matches. He's routing back. Kick it into a little bit higher gear here. I'll show you the field that that helicopter crash site was. I don't think it's there now, but I happened to catch it in the binoculars. I, no way. It was a bonus. I took out, uh, I think I ended up taking around these nine zombies. Eh, probably about seven or eight zombies out in the process. way. So I was playing Battlefield 3 last night with my uh, nephew and um, I was going to record it. I was going to do, you know, record it and then upload it into a different playlist on my channel, but I was playing Sniper, which I don't play a lot of, so I really suck at it. So I didn't want to embarrass myself, so I decided not to. But my nephew's really good at it, so he was trying to to school me a little bit. Yeah, out in this field, it was probably, I don't know, right around where my crosshair is. That's where the, uh, that's where the hel crashed helicopter was, where I got the M4A1. Probably should stay in the tree line. Is that where the castle? I think it's right there. Yeah. It's behind those trees. How many people are on the server here? There's only three of us. I'll take my chances. You know, there's four now, but... Yep, right about there is where the helicopter was what was left of it. So, as I was saying earlier, I, I did the whole um, went into my config file and uh, camoed myself out. If you're interested, there is a uh, if you search on YouTube for Arma 2 camo skin. You should be able to find a step-by-step uh, -step guide, video guide on how to do it. It's pretty easy. And then they there's some links to pages where you can actually pick out which uh, which camo face and you want and stuff like that. So there's a lot that seem to be repeats, but um, eh, there's probably about several different variations. And if I remember, I'll try and link it to my, my channel. If you can't find it, let me know. I'll link it. Looks like I'm going to have to drink here soon. I'll just do it right now. I like Coke better than Pepsi. 
so I'll, I'll savor the fact that I have a, a Coke in my inventory for later. Let's hit that first. We'll go ahead and hit this these venerable buildings first before we hit the castle. players are in here now. Uh, wow, there's only two of us. Bear with me one second. I gotta try and figure something out here. Sorry about that. There's the castle. It's pretty cool looking. So I got some other single player games I was thinking of uh, doing some Let's Play videos on. Um, I played the Amnesia game. The Dark Descent by Frictional Games, which was awesome. Freaking the scariest game I have ever played. And there is an add on to it, an official add on from Fictional Games, <coughs> excuse me, Frictional Games called Justine. Oh, there's my matches. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. Now we can get some game and eat some meat because I've got the hunting knife. So all we need, I think we saw some uh, game out in the uh, field there. Awesome. All right, very cool. So anyway, so I wanted to. I was thought talking. I was thinking about um, doing a let's play video for Justine, which is a short add-on for Amnesia: The Dark Descent. And if it, if you guys are interested, if you'd like to see that, let me know in my channel in the comments. Um, or comment on, uh, just leave a comment with this video, say, yeah, do Justine, so maybe I'll do that for some single player action. And then if it ends up being any good and you want me to do the full game, I would, maybe I'll do the full game as well. Ooh, whoa. There's matches there, too. I'm going to eat some food here pick up this other can of food. How many bandages do I have in my bag? Got one there. I've got three in the bag. Okay. And then if there's any other <coughs> single player games that you'd like to see, I'll consider doing those as well. If if nobody has played any of the frictional game frictional games games, <coughs> excuse me. Great developer. <coughs> great <coughs> excuse me. Very good developer. Uh, more story driven survival type games. There's really no shooting. It's more story-driven, horror, suspense, survival type game. And I was a little... Yeah, I come from the the Dooms and the Wolfenstein 3D up through present day, so it was kind of out of the norm for me. But I'll tell you what, I've really come to like that type of game. And if you want to check out the Penumbra series, it's P-E-N-U-M-B-R-A series. 
you know, the first one's Overture, the second one's Black Plague, and then there's a small add-on pack. It was supposed to be three chapters, but the last one ended up being Requiem, which was just more of a an add-on to Black Plague, but all three are fantastic games. So, if you're interested, check those out as well. Alright, we're coming up on the castle here. Let's get back to Arma 2 and stop talking about other games. I thought I saw a hopper up here. <clears throat> There's Zed Walker right there. Some activity going here. I wonder if there's a lot of good stuff. Sounds like they're up there in the tower. I might have my work cut out for me here. Holy smokes. Sounds like a party in the zombie party. Is that any stuff? No, it's just garbage. Nope. Just uh, garbage. I'm going to have to take this wide. I'm going to aggro anybody come out. Aggro them and they come out on me before I get a chance to go in there. Got some food. Looks like painkillers. Some road flares down there. Alright. Let's get into this. Is there one outside here? Hunting knife down there. Must be up top. Back up. If I fall, I am screwed. Oh yeah, there's a party up top there. Oh, stop screaming. Come over here. shot there. Well, things got quiet now, huh? No. Spoke too soon. I hear another one down there. ever come across morphine and you have extra always grab it because you know how quirky this game is you'll break your leg just tripping over a rock or something That's where we came from, I believe. Let's check out the compass. East, yep. That's the, the church and the town of Mogolevka. 
Yep, that's that house we went into before we came this direction, the brick house. And I believe the other brick house is over here. I think it's the right, no, it's not right there. And where I want to go next, that's east of us. I think there's a small town, Vishinoi. I think that's how you pronounce it, right there. And that's where I want to go next. We'll take the adventure there next. Looks like there's some enterable houses right there. There's a well. I think there's a little entryway there that's enterable. Looks like a couple outhouses. Um, what else? Yeah, there's the outhouse right there, and then that barn we can hit. So that is, if you look at the compass, that is due north. What is this? I hit the wrong key combination. Sorry about that. Okay, don't need painkillers. We'll check things out here a little bit more before we head north. And then just north of Vishinoya is, uh, I believe, there is a deer stand. And I think there's a helicopter crash site. I'm looking at a cheat map here. Sorry. Got it. Like he's curled up in the fetal position, sleeping here. Makarov, bandage, and a hunting knife. Drop that and get a full one. Give me the full one? Yeah, cool. stuff down here. I hear zombies. He wasn't there before. There's a couple of them here. Took me a couple tries. That was a bad shot. <laughs> yep, okay. That scared the crap out of me. I don't know about you. back to the door, but I guess if there was more people on the server, I'd probably play a little bit more cautious. Sometimes I've noticed in these little dirt piles, you can sometimes find stuff that loot spawns in there. Empty 
can. Liam Field, Makarov, Mag, that is it. I got a bandage on him, but I don't need any. I have four of them. Can of baked beans, I'll take it. And Makarov, Painkillers, Road Flares. That's it. Alright, so let's head north. That's not north, that is. Alright. something out here real quick. See if there's anything. Kind of looked in here earlier, but I wanted to take out the zombies. The other castle that we went to, I forget the name of it. But uh, I kind of searched this area, but there really wasn't anything. Doesn't look like there's anything here either. This looks like stage prop to trash. Supposed to be a helicopter crash site here. Between Zub, which is the castle we just left, and Vishinoye. Is that it? No. Let's go look over here. Oop, there's a zombie. on the other side here. I want to check out the field which is just south of Ishinoya, the little village there, see if it's in this field here. They're random helicopter sites, so if you don't see it in the server one time, doesn't mean it won't be here in the next, from what I understand. If anybody wants to correct me on that in comments, that would greatly be appreciated. Yeah, I don't see it. Check out this town before we go in. Is that outhouse I want to hit? Sometimes you can find good stuff in there. We might find a map. I don't know if that's an honorable house from the other side. Oh, and I did some research, but I couldn't really find any definitive answers. If you guys notice, I believe it was in the last video, I had to mute my mic a couple times when all I got was getting all those phone calls. And then I had to cut the video short. But if you notice when I muted, you heard the, the, the buzz go away. And I have a, uh, a USB headset. And I believe it, the buzzing in the mic is inherent to USB headsets from what I've read. And it's, it's a Megalodon headset that I got for my birthday a couple few years ago, which I really like. They're nice. They're not the best headsets in the world, but you do get the directional audio in them, they're comfortable, they sound good, but the only annoyance is when I'm doing these videos, there's a buzz. So, I don't know if it's inherent to fraps or if just inherent to the USB headset itself or what, but if anybody has any information on that, that would be greatly 
appreciated. We have matches now, that's right. I could get my blood up to come across some cattle. Have a cookout. We could have a cookout and I'll uh, get my blood up at the same time. Yep, we got some Zed spawning now. see how much room I have in my inventory because we kill a cow it's going to be eight steaks so let me open my Alice pack here I have two slots of 20 left if I eat a couple um, I don't need these two round slugs I guess I can what am I going to do all right let me move beans over there's one slot There's two slots. Move these over and drop them. I don't need them. And I guess I could move them back. Wait a second. And this inventory system is funky sometimes. Did I just do something really stupid? Yep, I thought I dropped them. Alright, let's move this back here. Let's move these forward. Let's drop. It's not, I didn't do something stupid, it's the inventory. Okay, let's move them over and close. Alright, let's go back. Drop. What is going on here? Let me right click on there. No, I don't want to do that either. Let me see if this works. If I move. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It dropped the food. I think where it's lost forever. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I needed to eat that food to get my blood up. Oh man. I don't think I'm gonna find it. I don't wanna drive you guys nuts trying to find it either. That's lame. That is so lame. Yeah, so I'm down to one can of beans. Oh, no, I'm not. Whew. Okay. Let's see if I move this forward. Will it take slot of... No, but it just moves it right back. Eh, we'll worry about this later. Set up on the hillside. Got a couple Zeds on the hillside there. Zed walking right towards me.
at them. There's an outhouse right where my crosshair is. So we'll hit that outhouse and then go across the street to that enterable house there. Bandage and road flares. Sounds like there's something in the house. Anything in that dog house? Just nope. Yeah. Nope. Don't think that house is enterable. No. Nope. Definitely got a Z in this house here though. I'm going to eat some sardines, or eat some franken beans, since I've got a bunch of them. Get my blood level up a little bit. Got some more 45 rounds in there, which is good, because I'm using them here. All right. I think I already checked. Oh, this guy's got something on him, probably an empty whiskey bottle. No, bandage, that's right. Looks like I'm the only one on the server. Double barrel shotgun. Go this way. That type of building always psychs me out because it looks like the door is partially open, but you can't enter it. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. Shit. I've seen Let's Play videos where people are bleeding, and I'm like, dude, you're bleeding. How could you not know you're bleeding? And then uh, I just went and did the same thing. Because after the first couple zombies hit me, I, I looked down to see if I was bleeding, but I wasn't. Crap. I'm going to have to eat some food here. Let me go out into this field, eat some food. Wish there was game. Well, might be a little bit of a game changer here, folks, because if I get hit by a zombie, I am screwed. So let's eat some food here. Oh, shit. Glad those guys aren't following me. Alright, so. Eat. Drop. Let's open the Alice pack. 
what an idiot. I can't believe I didn't notice I was bleeding. But like I said, I, I looked at the, uh, I looked at the, um, the blood level icon after the few, zo few zombies hit me, and I was fine. Okay, so it's, I guess it's, okay, I'm going to have to find some game. I saw some feet, some in the fields over here. Okay, so we're going which way now? We're going west. Okay, we're going to have to go west because I saw some cattle in the fields over here. And then we'll go cook some meat. I'll eat some steaks, get my blood level up, and then we'll go back to this town so we can find out what else is there. so funny because I've seen other people they were in their vi let's play videos I'm like dude you're bleeding come on how could you not know that <laughs> I just did the same thing you don't notice it until your heart starts beating harder and the camera view starts shaking hopefully I can find some cattle here I'm above 4,000 so the shaking has stopped from my heartbeat but I'm critical because if I get swatted by a zombie I am going to get passed out and then if I pass out then I can't uh, bandage myself and if I can't bandage, bandage myself then I lose all that blood and then by that time you're screwed okay what do we got coming up here I thought this I thought I was heading west could be on a wild goose chase. And I want to get to an open field. Yeah, Paul, all part of the adventure. Hang in there. Hang, hang with me, folks. Okay, that's the field I was looking for. I believe there was some cattle there. So let me harvest, let me harvest some wood now. Okay, so I got a pile of wood in my inventory. Step one. Check. Hopefully this game hasn't wandered off. So right now we are going due south, so we're going to have to go north and then east again to get back to where we were. We're not going to find any now that we're looking for it. <laughs> 